Hi everyone and welcome to our fourth Tai Chi and Qigong class on Facebook Live. Uh, today we're going to be going through the warm-up exercises um, and then we're going to do some silt reeling exercises and then carry on learning the next part of the Tai Chi form. And we're going to finish today with a meditation as well. Really nice day for being outside. Um, so I hope you enjoyed today's class. If you've got any questions or any feedback, feel free to just put it in the comments below and I'll get back to you after the video's finished. Okay, so we're going to get started and we're just going to extend the arms out to the side and just rotate the wrists round in a circle. And then the opposite direction. And then moving on to the elbows, just rotating the elbows round in a circle. the whole of the arm with the shoulders, just loosening up the shoulders. And the opposite way. And then this one for the chest muscles and the upper back muscles, just push the arms out to the sides. And then for a deeper stretch, bring the arms across the chest and then fully extend the arms out to the side. This one for the shoulders. Okay, good. Okay, so next we're going to focus on the shoulders. Oh, sorry on the neck and we're just gonna look up to the sky nice and slowly and then turn the head to look down at the floor so just lifting the head up and then down
and then look to the left, and then slowly over to the right, and slowly over to the left again, turning the head from side to side. to the waist so we're just going to rotate the waist round in a circle nice and slowly and then the opposite way so it's like we're drawing a circle with the waist stretch the, the, the hips in the, an opposite direction so with the arms we imagine that they're holding a large round object like holding a barrel and we're going to keep the rest of the body facing forward but just turn the hips to the side just stretch the hips and then the opposite way try and keep the shoulders still straight facing forward, the head, the feet, and then the opposite way. This is a really good exercise for your lower back, the hips, and the sacroartic joint. And then the third way we can move the hips and waist is going over to the side. So we're just going to lean over to the side, just hold it there for a few seconds. And then switch sides. <clears throat> Okay, so next uh, we're going to do the knees. Um, there's two exercises that we can do for the knees. The first one is a little bit difficult, so if you struggle with the first one, just go on to the second one. Okay, especially if you have suffer with arthritis in the knees, the second one is better. So we're just putting the hands in front of the knees and just rotating the knees round in a circle. Keep that circle nice and small. Don't go too big with the circle. And then the opposite way. Okay, the 
the second exercise is we're just bringing the knee up and then down. So we're going to uh, go up a step. And the last one is we're just going to kick out the legs. Okay, so we're all warmed up now. And we're going to go through these silt reeling exercises. So the silt reeling exercises came about when we discovered how to make silt from the silkworm cocoon. Now there was an art to extracting the thread from the silkworm cocoon and in the early days they didn't have any machinery to do that, it was all done by hand. Um, the silk industry was big business and therefore the best silk reelers got paid the best money. So the silk reelers would practice these exercises to help them improve at their silk reeling skill. And the, the art to extracting silk thread was if you were to pull the thread too quickly, the thread could snap. Or if you were to pull the thread too slowly or jerkily, it just knot up and congeal as it's coming out. There, there was an art to extracting it, which meant that when you got, grabbed hold of the silk thread and pulled, you had to pull in a s soft, fluid, continuous movement okay and that soft fluid calm movement is how we do the moves in Tai Chi so Tai Chi kind of adopted those silk reeling exercises to help Tai Chi students improve how they do their movements as well so that they're applying that soft, gentle, fluid movement that you see when you see people doing Tai Chi in the parks or on television, or even dressed as pandas on television adverts. They've got that soft, fluid movement when they do the form. So we're gonna run through these silt reeling exercises. We're gonna stand with the feet shoulder width apart. So that means that the feet are directly below the hips the hips are below the shoulders so all three points are lining up okay we're going to stand with the hands out in front like so palms down as though we're resting the hands on a stone table and this is our go-to position after each of the exercises I'm going to do the mirror image so it's easy for you to follow at home so I'm going to shift the weight over to the right side rise up with our hands to shoulder height and step out diagonally with the left foot. This exercise is called calming the waters and from here we're going to rock forward and reach out with our hands and rock back and make a full circle. Rock forward and rock back. So you'll notice that there's no starts, no stops, it's just soft, fluid, constant movement. I'm going to do six repetitions. You can increase the repetitions after you've been practicing a while and then stop and rest the hands on the table. Shift the weight to the left leg, rise up with the hands, step out diagonally with the right foot and then rock forward reach out and rock back and make a full circle. Again, 
again, six repetitions. Step in and rest the hands on the table. The next one I'm going to do is called circle in the globe. So we're going to shift the weight to the right leg, step out a little bit wider with the left leg, and bring the left hand up like so, and the right hand underneath. So you're holding a ball. So this one's called circling the globe. And we're imagining we've got hold of that ball and we're turning and turning the ball over from side to side. So first of all, we're going to turn to the direction where the hand is on top. So we're going to turn to the left, roll that ball over and turn all the way across to the right and roll that ball over and then across to the left and roll it over. So in Tai Chi you'll notice there's, there's a lot of references to balls and circles because a lot of the movements are done making circles. one and then step in and rest the hands on the table again. The next one is called pushing our hands through water. This is a really good one because it helps us visualize our resistance while we're moving which is going to help improve your silk reeling skills as well. <clears throat> okay so from this position we're going to turn the hands to the right, to the left side, so the palms are facing the left. And we're going to have the two thumbs next to each other. And then we're just going to shift our weight over to the left and bring the hands over. And when the hands get to the bottom here, we shift the weight to the right and bring the hands over. Shift the weight to the left and bring it over to the left. And then shift it over to the right. So making like a figure eight shape with the hands as all the figure eight has fell over on each side. Just imagine that resistance of pulling your hands through water. The swirling of the water. ones that we're going to do we're going to do to the side and this first one's called turning the prayer wheel so we're going to turn to our left do this all together so left foot pointing ahead and the right toe if you imagine that you're standing on a giant clock left toes are pointing at 12 right toes are pointing at around where two o'clock would be you have the hands in front of the chest like so about a head width apart with the hands and we're going to rock forward bring the hands over and rock back to make a full circle rock forward and rock back there's that reference to the circle again this one's called turning the prayer wheel Turn to the front, rest the hands on the table. Next we're going to turn to the right, so we're going to have the right foot forward this time, left leg at the back, and again imagine you're standing on a giant clock, right toes are pointing at 12, and the left toes are pointing at 10. Hands about head width apart, we're going to rock forward, bring the hands over so the weight's on the front foot, and then rock back and transfer the weight to the back leg. 
to the front place the hands on the knee on the table so the next one is called pushing and pulling we're going to turn to the left again left foot forward right leg pointing at two so 12 o'clock and two o'clock with the feet where the toes are pointing this time we're going to have the hands up but the palms facing away we're going to rock forward and push Turn the hands over so the palms are facing us, rock back and pull in. So rock forward, push. Turn the hands over, rock back and pull in. So again, constant fluid movement. No start, no stop. Turn to the front and rest the hands on the table. I'm going to repeat that again on the right side. So we're going to turn to the right, right foot forward, left foot at the back. And the position of the feet, right foot's on 12 and the left foot's pointing at where 10 would be. Palms out in front, facing away. We're going to rock forward and push. Turn the hands over and rock back and pull in. So transferring the weight to the front leg and transferring back to the back leg again. Turn to the front and rest the hands on the table. So the next two, three exercises are all done facing the front. Um, so I'm going to go back to doing mirror image again. And this next exercise is called building a ball in the ballet. So from this position here with our hands on the table, we're going to shift the weight over to the right leg. Rise up with the hands. Step out diagonally with the left foot. And then we're going to rock forward, lean over and pick up the ball and then lift the ball and let it float away again. Rock forward, pick up the ball, lift the ball and let it float away. So we're transferring the weight to the front leg and as we lift we transfer it back to the back leg. Again continuous fluid movement throughout, no start and no stop. same exercise on the right side so we're going to transfer the weight to the left leg rise up with the hands step out down with the right foot rock forward lean over and pick up the ball lift the ball and rock back and let it float away one of the six and then here step in rest the hands on the table the next one we're going to do is a sister exercise and this one's called building a ball in the mountains so it's a similar kind of thing but done the opposite way around so we're going to shift the weight over to the right side rise up with the hands to shoulder height step out diagonally with that left foot this time we're going to rock forward and reach out for the ball, take hold of the ball, rock back and push the ball down, let it break over the knee. Again, rock forward, reach out for the ball, push the ball down, let it break over the knee. Again, 
drops you down as we rock back. So transfer the weight to the front and transfer the weight to the back. And then step in. Press the hands on the table. I'm going to shift the weight over to the left side. Rise up with the hands, step out diagonally with the right foot, rock forward and reach out for that ball. Rock back and push the ball down and let it break over the knee. Rock forward, reach for the ball, push it down, let it break over the knee. Rest the hands on the table. The last exercise we're going to do is called cloud hands and cloud hands is one of the most popular Tai Chi movements that everyone practices. Uh, there's actually a thing going around if anyone subscribes to YouTube and they've liked Tai Chi they might start to see uh, there's a video going around at the moment where instructors all over the world uh, doing a short video teaching people how to do cloud hands um, and it's in response to the COVID-19 crisis these videos everyone's instructors from all over the world are going on and creating these videos to help people learn cloud hands and it really is a really beautiful move to do so feet shoulder width apart and we're going to bring the left hand up in front of the face, right hand here in front of the tummy, make an anchor, C shape with a hand like a Lego man hand here in front of the tummy. And with this one, we're not actually moving the hands too much, the movement's more with the waist. So from this position, we're just turning the waist to the right, dropping the right hand, lifting the left hand, and then turning sorry dropping the left hand lifting the right hand and turning all the way across to the right and again lifting the left hand dropping the right hand and then turning across to the left dropping the left hand lifting the right hand and turning all the way across to the right dropping the right hand lifting the left and turning across to the left just focus with the eyes on the palm in front of the face as we turn in and then switch your attention to the opposite hand as we switch the hands. Really nice, beautiful move. And then bring the hands in and rest the hands on the table. So that's our silk reeling exercises. Next we're going to uh, concentrate on the Tai Chi form. So the last few weeks we've learned uh, the first three moves of the form. So we've learned rising, flying diagonal and grasping sparrow's tail. So grasping sparrow's tail is quite a big one because we've got four parts to it. So you may need to revisit that video a few times to make sure that you get that one right. And today we're going to add the next move on. So I'm going to go through the first three. I'll do it from the front and then I'll turn around and do it from the back to help you follow along at home. So the first move we learned on the second video that I did, you'll still find that on the page, is rising. And then the next part, fly diagonal, is sinking. So we're bending the knees, bringing that left hand down and round. And then that right hand is just turning under the chin. Shifting. So all the way on the right leg. Stepping forward with the empty left leg. And turning the ball over. And then last week, we added on grasping sparrow's tail. So from here, we shift the weight onto that left leg step up with the right foot, rock forward, drop the left hand and knock 
I'll try and come over here so you can see everything. So from here, step up, drop forward, and knock. Drop back, pull. And the arms up. This one comes over, drops behind the right hand. We rock forward and squeeze. We rock back, hands to the chest. Open out. Together, we bow first, we step out with the left leg into rising, sinking, bending the knees, bringing that left hand down and round and the right hand under the chin, shifting, stepping forward with the left foot, turning the ball over, step up with the right foot, rock forward, into knot. Pull that hand over and squeeze. Rock back. Open out and push. Okay. I want to do that from the back so you can follow along now that you can see the hand detail. From here. Put your bow. Today we're going to add the next movement on there, that's move number four, and with move number four added on, this is known as section one of the Tai Chi form. So once you've learned this part, you've already learned the first section of the form. So again, I'm going to do it from the front, so you can see the arm detail first, and then I'll, fit, I'll do it from the back and then we'll add it on to the full sequence. Okay, so from the front, we push with both hands. We bring the hands up and over. So if we imagine here a giant clock in front of us, so we've got 12 right at the top, one here, and number 11 on this side. So when we do this push and we bring the hands up, when we bring the hands up to about the one, we turn that right foot in. So the right foot's pointing this way at the moment. So I'm gonna bring the hands up, bring the hands up to one o'clock and turn that foot so the toes are pointing towards you, the camera there. We bring the hands over past 12 and then at 11, the other foot would turn out to the side. So this was facing that way and now we've turned it to face to the left. Carry on bringing the hands over and round. Shift the weight to the right leg. Make that hook with the hand and step out and bring this hand over. And that takes us into a classical move called single whip. And we're in a bow stance, so the weight's on the front leg, back leg's empty. And we're in this position here. Now, just to help you with this hand movement. The fingers all come together and the thumb, so they're all touching. That's the underneath section of the hook of the hand. This hand is slightly bent, so we're not bent over completely, slight bend here. And if we hold the single whip out in front of us, it should be halfway between here and here. So it should be like a 45 degree angle. This arm is not completely straight like this. We've got a slight bend in there, keeping everything nice and relaxed. No tension in the shoulder. Shoulders still sunk. Slight bend in the elbow. 
It's like bending the wrist and all the fingers together here like so. Uh, the other hand, that's up like so. The forearm, nice and straight. And making this C shape with the hand like a Lego man hand. We're looking through that, the opposite side when we finish. So again from here, we push forward. Bring the hands over. Turn that right foot in. 11 o'clock, turn that left foot out. Bring the hands down. Transfer all the way onto the right foot. Make that hook. 45 degree angle, step out and bring this hand over. So this hand just flicks over. So it's kind of like how you'd throw a dart. It's kind of the same movement. Yeah, so again, we push, bring that hand over. At, five t at one o'clock, we turn the right foot in. 11 o'clock, we turn that left foot out. Bring the arms down. Transfer all the way to the right leg. Make that hook step out and flip that arm over into our single whip there and the head should be facing to the left okay so i'm going to do the form from the reverse angle again and add that move on so feel free to practice this a few times just to get the hang of it so we bow Out with the left leg. First move, rising, sinking, Just bring that left hand down and round, and the right hand under the chin. Shift the weight to the right. Step forward and turn the ball over. Step up with this right foot, front forward. Press it to the left hand, not pull. step out into your single whip there. Weight on the front leg, left leg empty. Yeah. Okay, once more. The bow. Step out with the left leg. Rising. Sinking. Shifting. Stepping, turning that ball over. Stepping up with the right leg into an up, drop back and pull, drop forward and squeeze, drop back and push, bring the hands up and over. Eleven, at one o'clock, turn that right foot in, eleven, turn that left foot out. Make that full circle, make our hook step out, and there it's a single way. Okay, so that's enough of uh, Tai Chi and Qigong now. So we're going to finish with a meditation. And you just want to find uh, somewhere to just sit or stand. So if you're standing, feet should be shoulder width apart and hands placed on the tummy. Right hand on the tummy first for ladies, left hand on top. And then left hand and then the right hand on top. Shoulders relaxed, head upright, and just focus on your breathing. If you're doing meditation, sat down. Important that the feet are flat on the floor, back nice and straight in the chair, head upright, shoulders relaxed, and the hands just resting in the lap. Okay, so we go through this meditation. Just gonna try and turn the camera around so you've got this nice tree to look at instead of me just reading out the meditation.
Okay, so we're going to do a meditation called Clouds on a Summer's Day. And as you're standing or sitting, just relax and start to create a picture in your mind. Imagine that you are lying on a blanket outside on a warm summer day. The blanket is in the soft grass next to some trees. The sun shine down, shines down warmly and a cool breeze blows across your skin. See the sky above, blue and bright. See the clouds floating by. Just blowing in the breeze. Picture in your mind the details of this scene. The feel of the sun and breeze on your skin. The soft grass and the blanket beneath you. The trees beside you. A mix of leafy trees and evergreens. The leaves on beech and oaks wave and turn as they blow in the wind. You can hear the rustle of leaves. Between the leaves you can see the trunks and branches of large old and trees empty of leaves the bark is dark with patches of light coloured mosses and lichens a few willow trees grow amongst the beach their branches move slightly up and down springing back as the wind blows them Watch the clouds passing the branches, drifting by. Notice the different shapes of clouds. Some are round, fluffy, cumulus clouds. Others a long, thin, wispy clouds, like streaks of semi-transparent paint across the blue of the sky. The clouds drift lazily by, slowly, smoothly, floating. It is so relaxing watching the clouds drift by in the sky above. The sun shining down warms and relaxes you, creating a calm, sleepy feeling. The breeze keeps you cool and comfortable. Feel your body relaxing bit by bit. As you sink into the soft blanket on the grass beneath you, feel your muscles relaxing, letting go, allowing your breathing to slow as you rest peacefully.
Imagine the sights and sounds of this relaxing scene. The sound of the wind in the trees. Birds singing. Picture the leaves of the trees as you see them moving, twisting. The sun shining through the trees is dappled on your face. Enjoy relaxing, gazing up at the sky, watching the clouds drift by, enjoying this beautiful day. When you are ready to leave this peaceful place, slowly begin to return your awareness to the present. Take a deep breath in and out slowly. Breathe in again and out slowly. Continue to breathe smoothly and regularly, feeling your energy increasing with each breath. As you breathe, allow your body to slowly reawaken. Feel the energy flowing through your muscles. Raise your shoulders as you breathe in and lower them as you breathe out. Feel your muscles slowly reawakening. Keep with you the feeling of calm and relaxation while returning to a state of wakefulness. When you are ready, open your eyes and return to your day feeling alert and calm. So thank you for joining us for today's class. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll be back again the same time next week. Take care and feel free to share the video with anyone that you may feel would benefit from it. Thank you. Namaste.